Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Sal and her marvelous menagerie here in Griftlands. We gotta get some training on this Lumisite and we got like Zimbots. Zimbot's a member of the family already. I will be shattered if we are unable to keep Zimbot alive. Uh, Suzette, Suzette's gonna need some help. So that is our goal today. Get Suzette some help, some training, some armor, whatever we gotta do to make sure that little Suzette has the best chance to survive the day. Let's see if Ulo has anything. How are the gears of government today, Ulo? Still grinding? <laughs> Jammed, I'm afraid, which means I have plenty of need for your skills. I've got two jobs I could use you for. And since I don't hate you, I'll even let you pick. Well, that's nice of you. Uh, so, a lot of money. They're both negotiation jobs. Escort a clerk as they collect taxes or find a mole in or find a new mole inside the spree. To gather intel on the spree's activities. Uh, I think I will do this one. If we're going to keep the roads clear for the auction, I need intel on spree activity. Problem is, they're as paranoid right now as I am. So the usual leaks have been stopped up. I need you to find me an informant. Someone who will give us the goods without clapping back. You think you can handle that? I think maybe I can handle that. Mission received. I'll see you when the job is done. This seems like difficult work to me. I'm sure Sal's very good at it and everything, but I can see a lot of ways this could go wrong. Oh no, it's a person who hates me. Well, maybe this is an opportunity to fix that. Yeah, that... Damn it. Well, let's try. Word on the street is you're in over your head. That sounds like a sales pitch. You selling weapons or something? Hey, even better. Have you considered the benefits of Admiralty Protection? This is not going to go well. Alright, so whenever you shuffle your deck, Ash gains impatience. That's a little that's a little inconvenient. So, we may as well do this before we gain any influence. Hooray! Uh, yeah, I guess applying composure here makes sense. More sense than flustered. We're going to lose the argument anyway, because that's the untrained one. But at least it doesn't overflow any damage onto me. Alright, so... This is not so dangerous for us. We are not planning to play a lot of the types of cards that make that a problem. Let's go ahead and do this and then play a remarkable number of cards, considering that we just spent all of our actions. Do we play Deflection of Clarity? Do I just burn the Restore 5 Resolve? in order to not get overflowed for one. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And to keep the pet argument around, may as well make the deck nice and lean. Even if that does have some negative effects in this battle in particular. All right, well, Bulldoze is not very good here. So that's my airtight, and you're already not doing enough damage to kill it. Boy, I just don't have much to do here. So we may as well play the Bulldoze? <laughs> I don't actually have plays. It feels like boosted time always comes up at the worst moment. How much... You know what? Take this. I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to promote thinking and... Hand over two actions? Yeah, sure. We still have a non-zero amount of influence, which is, for most purposes, all we really need. What is this one again? Ah. Well, let's exploit weakness on that. Mostly just to play it. 
And then I have eight actions. Hooray! I didn't need to destroy. Like I'm, I'm so used to just destroying the uh, the opponent's actions all of the time. That did not need to happen at all. Uh, let's play this early. Okay, so we are not going to end up with a card for Swift Rebuttal to get back that really means very much. Hooray! I mean, may as well, right? It's more, uh, it's more resolve. Okay, problem solved. That wasn't so bad. Do I want another solid point? More cards that I can't... You know what? Actually, what I want is a brainstorm. This is this is very much a situation where we need card draw. Look, what have you got to lose? The spree will cut you loose sooner or later, and then nobody will protect you. Turn informant, and you get a new start. In the bread fields or lake spit. Heck, maybe even Supplicant City. You really think they let someone like me into Supplicant City? Sure, if you were cooperative enough. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. I've already got enough enemies as it is. But the pay better be good. Okay, I'm not... I'm in the middle... We're in the middle of a thing. I should not provoke him into killing me. Or attempting to kill me. Sorry, I should definitely not allow him to kill me. I was kind of hoping after that he would like me. Alright, well, you were right. Ash has agreed to work with you. I did my best to be the persuasive arm of your will. Oh yeah? I'd like to see you flex. Nice work. I'll be sure to pick something a little more challenging next time. Wouldn't want you getting bored with me before the auction. Alright, that's a start. Also, a graft reward. Uh... You know, I actually like the Kludger quite a bit. I'm done with you for the day. Keep your head down out there. Where it is, you've made some enemies. I can't imagine what you mean by that. Zin owes you and is willing to make one of your enemies disappear, or... Knack is in trouble. Save him before it's too late. I don't know if Knack will actually die. Is Knack on my, my like list, or... No, Knack is someone who loves me. Yeah, we better go save Knack. Alright. Bulit. I don't know if we've ever seen Bulit before. Oh, wait, are you... Are you the same Spark Baron's turncoat? We definitely saw that before. My memory's not great, you know? Uh... Winning winning negotiations heals us. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's try to do this via convincing. Because I don't want our uh, our untrained, unarmored pet to potentially get mulched with a big hammer. So I remember that Bolit does a lot of uh, multi-target attacks. Uh, let's apply a stone bulldoze. Sadly, at the moment, there's not much I can do here. Applying five composure doesn't save the pet either. But I guess it means that I don't take any overflow damage. Well, I wasn't going to take any overflow anyway. Or, no, sorry, I was going to take... Yeah, I wasn't going to take any overflow anyway. That's a bummer. Yeah, I hate I hate this one. This this is a core that sucks a lot. Hmm. Now that I have two actions, do I want to do boosted impression or would I rather brainstorm and try to draw into? I mean, the problem is we just don't know, do we? We just don't know if there's actually going to be much value there. 
I guess actually, I can sorry, I can so swift fast. rebuttal for setup, and then spend the influence, and then obviously I brainstorm. So improvising two cards from the discard pile, I'm likely to end up not wanting to play them. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother playing the Ergo. I get no, now I should play the Ergo cuz there's a chance I get plead. Yeah, and I can't I can't play anything else, but oh wait, did I have one left? Oh, I did I I have no idea why I have an action left. I probably just miscounted something somewhere cuz you know, I do that cuz I do that sometimes. Well, this has gone quite smoothly, I think. Put aside my weird difficulty counting. Alright, I do believe we've got an easy win here. So easy that I don't even have to click for it. Uh, another good impression's not. That's not unreasonable. As we as we get better at like tearing through our deck, these cards are going to be better and better. I, I will take a second one. Now you step off now and be content with the beating you gave him. Otherwise, yeah. Okay. Get get lost, Belit. Alright, if you do that for somebody you like, obviously it makes them love you. If you do it for somebody you already love, you get nothing. Which feels weird. Alright, Fish is going to need some supplies to fix up the bar, and they're out at the docks. So I guess we're going to the docks. And we're totally bringing Vo with us. We'll just show up with our own, uh, our own whole squad. All right, at least he's only going for me on the first turn. That's nice. Hmm. Well, I guess let's do a compliment. I was kind of hoping for some card draw there. So the question is... No, you know what? It's not a big deal. It is not a big deal to spend the influence just to make sure I get wide deflection so I don't take any damage here. I think that is fine. Improvise two cards from your discard pile. You know, diplomatic instincts is not bad. Yeah, let's do that. And do I want promoted thinking as well? We're going to be a little short on actions as it is. I'm going to take the plead. So we can exploit the vulnerability. And I suppose I ought to. Okay, that was lucky. But I may as well play that just to get the uh, just to get the value onto it. And sadly, not quite enough to save the pet. The resolve did not randomly deal out in a very useful way. Well, okay then. It does feel like the impressions, uh, they settle down to the bottom of the deck really easily, huh? Uh, we get through our deck fast enough that I don't really value Ambush all that much. We'll take this. And then, do we just want another, I'm pretty sure we just want another Brainstorm. I think this deck loves card draw. 
Alright, so the bar is safer, your job is, is easier. Come on. This isn't rocket science. Let's... Let's get to it. So this is going to give us an ability to armor up our pet, which is not the same thing as training. But we're still totally going to take it. I am not, in fact, going to be able to do that. 313 shills. I cannot believe I am five shills short. Ah, uh, man. That... Bummer. That's going to mean we have to do the boss fight with a non-upgraded pet, which I do not like. I cannot believe it was five shells. Alright, uh, let's talk our way through here. We can just kill everybody and then maybe I'd be allowed to leave the dock with their money. No, let's, let's talk our way through. Okay, you are the evidence planter. Hmm. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, that feels like a reasonably productive first turn. So, this is another situation where we could exploit weaknesses in a way that doesn't really help things just for the sake of getting XP out, and I think I probably will. You know what, let's start with a Brainstorm. Okay, that's interesting. God, I wish I had one more action. Hmm. Well. Let's just do that into this. Alright, there's a level up for that. Pale Airtight probably should have been played before the other card. Why not? Okay, I think we have run out of XP generation opportunities at this point. But if I had even more influence. Okay. Not bad overall. So. Yeah. Do we want. Do we want a greater amount of temporary. I think I want to just pull down the influence loss. I definitely want to maintain influence from turn to turn. We're not all the way in on the temporarily having a. Uh, a massive stack yet thing. Uh, I am going to take non sequitur. I think non sequitur is great. It doesn't really do anything <laughs> a lot of the time until you get it upgraded. But once it's upgraded, it's really great. And you know, sometimes you do end up like getting to use it to buy the cost off of airtight or something. That'd be fine. All right, fine. Go on through. We'll just we'll just go on through then. I can't believe it was 313 shells to armor the pet. Alright, so... Listen, I'm just here for my... for my package. I'm not really sure what the greater, um... ramifications are of ending the quarantine versus getting your own package out of the quarantine. May as well play a very cheap wide deflection. Pretty solid. We're not gonna. Pr we're probably not gonna be able to generate any. Um, yeah, we're probably not gonna be able to generate any influence, no matter what I do this turn. So let's just take this and and pass. No way to benefit from boosted time. So, all right, I was hoping to find that non sequitur. So, 
so we might be able to get extra actions out of our... Okay. Well, that's only having one action left. I really want to use it to play Diplomatic Instincts, right? So I guess it kind of doesn't matter what I take here. Sadly, not enough to save me from the planted evidence. Hello, it's me. I am very convincing. This did not turn out very well. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, not necessarily great, actually. Okay, that was a good draw. Sadly, there's nothing I can do to get rid of these other baffles. And I can't even play that without a target, so I guess... Ouch. Uh, there's no way to play Swift Rebuttal without ending the encounter. Let's do Promoted Thinking. Okay. I was kind of hoping to just draw some more cards so that I could play the other Brainstorm. Again, just looking to maximize experience out. Uh, okay, Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire is kind of interesting. Subtlety is also kind of interesting. Um, maybe I want this. Our deck is starting to get a little bit on the large side. I'm going to decline and take 10 shells. All right, so we're just going to run in here and grab this and then, you know, and then fight a hulking beast that heaves itself out of the water, shaking off droplets that sizzle on contact. All right, that's probably for the best. Our, our unarmored pet gets to sit in reserve for the moment. Uh, so... Pretty awkward. Okay, they're both, they're both hitting everybody, which I sort of hate. Let me try to draw into something a little more compelling. Yeesh. Uh... You can probably drop that for right now. This brings their partner back to life if they have died. I'm gonna stone slip my pet, maybe? No, my pet's gonna my pet's gonna cover themselves, actually. Maybe I should just do the same. Actually, I guess I'm already covered. I thought it was going to be maybe a little bit more defense coming out of our pet than that. I forgot the Yote does a power thing instead. Well... It's a lot of damage, for sure. Let's keep stacking up the bleed on you. Hmm. Let's test this. Let's see if let's see if it does in fact provide healing on you. Okay, yes, it does. It applies the heal. Uh oh cool. So we can pay one to expend that, and I guess I better. Nothing from the discard pile to improvise. Ah, uh, alright. 
can put up an awful lot of bleed. Yep, I do believe that that is exactly the plan. You know what, this is, this is totally worth the flourish. I was kind of debating, but I should, I should definitely flourish here. So for the moment, let's just make it. They're both hitting me. So impairs would not be, uh, would not be meaningless. You know, yeah, let's, let's execute an, Im an impair flourish. And then I am also going to leech. Uh, I guess I'm gonna fight dirty first. Then I'm gonna leech. Then I'm going to. So the card doesn't do anything if you don't play it. It's not at end of turn take damage. I guess I'm gonna drop some elbows here. I do wish that we could get a little bit better focus. All right, a turn where they're not doing much makes me a little nervous. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't have much play here. It does seem like their damage has gone way down, doesn't it? All right, let's keep stacking the bleed up. I'm definitely going to discard a toxic fumes to let the volatile spark just burn out. And then I guess I may as well I might throw the wound on the other one, actually. I really, I do not know how life pact works. I don't know if it's when one of them dies, the other one, when the second one dies. Yeah, I have no idea how the mechanics of this works. So I'm kind of trying to just take them down in the hopes that we can kill them during the same turn so that it just won't fire at all. So I think I am going to throw the wounds up on you and then I'm going to focus on this one with the bleeding. And then I'm going to get hit. Now nah, I'll armor this off. Our pet will be fine. More volatile sparks in the deck, not a big deal. Improvise a card from your discard pile. Not the moment for it. And then I think we just have to play the toxic fumes and eat the three damage so it doesn't burn up with the spark. All right, we're getting, we're getting a little separated on damage here. Uh, ooh, hooray, I got to, got to get a good stone slip off. Our deck has really not been working out the way that I ordinarily would like. Hmm. Am I looking for anything in particular, though? Like, if I hit draw, what am I hoping for? A bunch of toxic fumes? Like, it's just not... I guess getting through them is, is good. And the damage levels we're talking about here are low enough that the impair is probably not relevant. 
So I think I'm gonna start stacking some bleed on you. And then we're gonna apply that to my buddy. I'm a little surprised the evasion didn't protect me from that. Bummer. Yeah, we definitely need to focus up on this one. Unfortunately, that's all the damage that you will be taking this turn. Uh... Can we get 42 damage onto this dude? Probably not, right? Get a pretty decent quantity of bleed up. Uh, and then... I guess we're gonna find out how this life pact works. Okay, so it looks like it looks like the action this thing would take this turn is probably going to be to do life pack. So all we have to do is get the kill before time runs out, which it looks like we already have done. Thanks a lot, team. I'm going to heal myself. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, the dress core seems like a very solid. It looks actually the dress core looks mechanical. I guess I had been. Yeah, it's totally a robot part. What exactly are those things? Uh, OK, faint of hash is kind of is pretty whatever. If the target has bleed, apply six bleed. Pretty good, actually. All right. Oh, sorry, I had to actually click on them, even when there's only one option, because, yeah, you're allowed to not take the upgrade. <laughs> you and your opponent both restore six resolve. That's inter interesting. Double your influence, gain three vulnerability. Oh, no, duplicity, for sure. Duplicity is actually very good. And then... I don't think I want any of this stuff. All right, we'll just keep the parcel as payment. Thank you, you're so gracious. And now I will go and get some armor for my pet. Hey, Froluck, could you please upgrade my sweet Suzette? Yeah. All right. I am very pleased with our positioning now. Have the package, let's deliver it. And yeah, just go rest, right? Nothing else, I don't think anything else of import happens today. Nope, day three is just a pretty straightforward one. And it turns out it goes pretty quickly if you don't have to read any of the text because you've seen it all before. Yeah, I don't know, that just didn't feel like... That's a lot less day than any of the days that the other characters have, I think. Alright, nothing for it but to march ahead and hope you can make some allies to match. Oh, I've got all the ally I need right here. Fish is uncomfortable because I have a visitor. Ah, it's Ulo. So, this is where you lay your head, is it? Can you recommend anything on the menu? Ulo, what brings you here? Didn't think you'd want to slum it with me here at the Grog. Why not? Especially after I heard you were running an errand for me last night, down at the docks. Only, I don't recall asking you to run an errand. Yeah, uh, about that. <laughs> it's fine, you have your reasons. Besides, give it a few more days and I'll be name-dropping you. Is that why you came? To make sure I wasn't being naughty? 
Oh, I've got an opportunity for you. A big one. I can't talk too much about it here. And besides, the clandestine angle is more fun. Come talk to me tonight with you when you're done with your other affairs. Do this one last thing for me and I'll get you into the auction tomorrow. So, tomorrow's the big day, is it? You better get ready for it. I've got a couple more jobs you can do to prepare. I do love to do jobs. And find me when the sun goes down and I'll tell you what you need to know. All right, well, we are only half an hour in here. I suppose we, we can maybe just try to jam out a second day, but you know what? Forgive me. It's the end of the week. I'm a little, I'm a little worn down. I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it short. Uh, that is going to be it for us for today and for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time on Monday, Cassio is the only person who is not going to survive our gratitude. That didn't sound, I thought I could maybe like come up with a way to make that sound. It didn't really sound menacing at all. Well, that's what's going to happen. And we'll see you then.